All eyes are looking toward the future. The Midland ISD bond has failed again. All that's left is for a judge to sign off. Today marks the third time results for this election have changed. One thing that has not changed through this entire process is every result shows that our community is divided on the issue. Here's a look at today's final count. 11,826 people voted against the bond measure. Okay, there we go. We've got it right there. 11,800 people voted in favor, of, uh, in favor of it. These are today's results. This is November. Very close between the two. Now it's back to the drawing board. Work is already beginning with both SPAC committees to bring the community together and get a new proposal in the works. And bringing in the whole community and everybody um, putting a plan together and it being a true um, reflection of MISD and the community. Um, and hopefully we'll put together something that we can get past, help the kids out. So how did we get to today's results? The day was very similar to November's recount. The sealed ballot boxes were walked into the commissioner's courtroom inside of the Midland County Annex. Only it was just two ballot boxes being unsealed and counted. One box contained 836 ballots. It was discovered last month on a shelf in the elections office. The second ballot box contained just one ballot. You'll remember it was found when the county first unsealed ballot boxes at the beginning of the county's investigation. Each of the ballots were counted by an elections office representative and tallied by representatives from each SPAC committee. Two hours later, those totals were added to the recount tabulation and we came to the new and likely final result of the bond election. A process the county hopes will restore faith in the elections process. I think showing uh, that the machines work, and, and that wasn't just us, that was the parties to the uh, election contest played a huge role in getting to the point where the public can trust the machines. Uh, but the next step is ensuring the public that we have taken the steps to correct the human errors. Next question, where do we go from here? These results will be taken back to the judge for his signature. If he approves of these results, that will be the end of the election contest and the bond results showing it fails will stand. And we'll just see what the judge finally orders, but we are drafting an agreed order uh, so that these results will be provided to the judge and we think that he will take that under advisement and if we have an agreed order, <laughs> then he'll probably rule as, as we've requested. But that's not all. The county is working to bring in new protocols to ensure something like this never happens again. Among those new protocols is a concern brought up by Better Bond for Midland. The chain of custody is a real problem. The fact that these, the fact that these ballots were missing for such a long time is an irregularity uh, in this election and one that needs to be addressed in elections going forward. And that is exactly what the county is in the process of doing right now. This includes better training from the Secretary of State's office and an update to the policies that they follow. We've got them listed out for you right here. We, we're told that some of those changes are a change in the chain of custody forms so that they're less confusing. And the county's also getting rid of the metal boxes that could look empty. Mom says they've also recently bought a lot of blue boxes for overflow ballots. So now whenever there is an overflow signal, instead of just uh, opening the machine, taking the ballots out and putting them in another box, that blue box will be taken out. It will be sealed and put, with, put where it needs to go. And then a new blue box will be put in. So there will not, not be any more transferring ballots from one uh, box to another. Again, the judge is expected to look at today's results sometime next week for final approval. And like we told you a few minutes ago, work has already begun on another bond proposal. Both SPACs are working together to get the ball rolling on that, meaning that we could be voting on another bond proposal as early as this year. I think it would be great to have folks who, um, from, from across the community, people who weren't visible and vocal in this bond, step up and, and take an interest and help carry the torch. But also, I think if the folk, those of us who are on both sides of this bond can come together behind them and say, hey, we all support this thing. We all know that, that it needs to happen. I think that would be the best possible outcome. Three main takeaways in all of this. We know the machines work. Second, your vote matters. And third, there will be another bond proposal in the near future.